Okay, again, my name is Mike Salaya, and I'm the chair of the scholarship committee. Uh, and also we had uh, Patrick Bryan, who's the co-chair of the committee. Uh, our objective this year was to take the successes that we'd seen with scholarships and the process and try to take a leap forward in doing a little bit more to develop more structure and processes around what we're doing. Uh, for, the first thing we did was we identified three groups of uh, students that we wanted to recognize in terms of awarding scholarships. Uh, the number one group were the students who demonstrated both merit and showed uh, demonstrated financial need. The second group was to identify new freshmen who uh, we, were, we would recognize on the basis of merit without regard to need. And then our third group are the transfer students. Uh, we had a, a process by which we created a new application. We established a scholarship a review committee. And as a result of a lot of work, a lot of uh, reviewing of over 152 applications, uh, each one being read at least four times, so you can imagine how many applications were read by each person. Uh, we identified uh, 22 students who we have offered $4,000 scholarships to, and these are renewable scholarships as long as they meet the requirements for renewal. We identified two students who we awarded on the basis purely of their academic merit, and we have not yet awarded our transfer students as we're kind of waiting for the budget to settle to understand what our funds are available for awards this year. But we do have a number of scholarship applications for those students, and we do intend to make those awards before the end of this month. <coughs> the other thing I'd like to do is, again, thank those who participated on the committee. I'd like to thank Oscar, uh, again, you know, for bringing in the history of what has been going on with the committee, uh, being a part of every step of our process, whether it was reading, uh, reviewing, uh, idea generation, all those kinds of things. He was a big part of it as well. Uh, Patrick um, himself took on a, a, a huge task in terms of uh, trying to revamp the application, uh, doing a lot of research on scholarship applications. And we came up with what we think uh, was a good scholarship, a good review process, but we see it as kind of just the first step here. Uh, we're going to be reviewing everything again, looking at it, seeing what we can do to improve our process so that, that we can be more effective communicate more quickly to students. We, we fell a little behind this year, but we caught it up pretty quickly. A uh, much more cohesive plan for the next year, so we look forward to that. Thank you. Well, again, my name is Juan Soto. Um, I'm the chairman of the Development Committee, which is one of the newer committees that was established uh, for this year. And um, Truthfully, it has been a challenge, and, and, and in one way, you know, I think about the, the, the story we have to give. You know, we have a wonderful story to tell, and, and part of that story obviously includes all of you, uh, part of that legacy of success as, as uh, many of you as uh, former students uh, from the University of Arizona, and the story has to do with everything we're talking about here today is really about our students, getting more students to come to the U of A and helping them get through and graduate and be successful in life. Very basic, you know, that, and, and we have so many testimonies, so many stories, beautiful success stories that we, we can talk about. You know, many of you have con continued to mentor a lot of our students, you know, and so in that respect, it, it's an easy story to tell when we're out there knocking on doors and making these phone calls, um, asking for help, and we're asking, we're asking for money in, in most cases, uh, or donations of different types to help us with many of our activities. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult, especially with the economic situations that, that we, we've been facing recently. Uh, and so as much as we have, we have a good story to tell, uh, we have wonderful participation from, from uh, um, the members of the board. Uh, Maria Miranda Soledad Susuaregui, who are part of the, uh, part of the development committee. Uh, also, uh, Chris and, and Jose that uh, attended many of the monthly meetings along with uh, Oscar and Diane. Uh, you know, we have a good core group of, of, uh, of colleagues here uh, that help uh, keep this uh, development committee organized and, and kind of leading the way to continue to seek ways of bringing resources to, to the alumni association. Um, but it, it, is, it is a struggle. We, we need to continue expanding our network. We, we need to continue looking at uh, places maybe we haven't looked at to, to uh, knock on that door and ask for a sponsorship. And the sponsorship, as you heard, has, it, come, it comes in many different ways. 
uh, in, in many of the different events. And so really here, part of, part of, my, part of my presentation really is asking, asking for your help. Uh, we would like to expand the number of people that are involved in this group that's knocking on doors, that's um, uh, either calling uh, individuals or businesses. And so first of all, I would like to say that um, if any of you would be willing to contribute some of your time, uh, please let any one of us here at the board know. Uh, you can call Diane, myself. I, I'm sure you know how to reach us. And, and say that you'd like to be part of this um, uh, effort to continue bringing in resources, monies, uh, to ultimately help our students um, either to recruit them to the, to the university, help them through with the programs that we offer, and uh, help them succeed in life. Now, and many of you are continually doing this every day. Uh, I know so many of you that are, are mentors and you're part of this legacy, you're actually part of the story that I'm talking about. But it is, it's about, it, everything we do, it's about the student. And we have a wonderful history here, and I do want to just publicly thank uh, John Huerta who actually presented to our um, development committee a few months ago and gave us a really nice historical overview of the development and the beginning of the Hispanic Alumni Association and those early efforts on raising monies. Um, it, it's, it, it is something that uh, we need to continue nurturing, continue growing, and if you have any, uh, any time at all, uh, we could use your help. Um, it, it's, uh, it's an ongoing effort, it, it it's, um, doesn't stop. And um, as Diane mentioned earlier, uh, you know, we volunteer to do this. We all have either other professions or other activities we're in involved in. And uh, to bring in fresh ideas and to bring in uh, fresh energy um, is very helpful. So my, my, uh, my report is to say that yes, it's been, it's been successful in one respect, but when you talk about money, you can always use more. <laughs> yes, Gloria. What is your phone number? I'll give you my cell phone number. All right. Okay? It's 904-1339. You should all be writing this down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, okay. You know, it, it, it's one of those times now that uh, things cost more, and because of the economic situation, it's a little harder to get the sponsorships maybe than it was a few years ago. Uh, but I know we have, uh, we're not going to stop. You know, we, we do have a great story to tell. And we continue sharing that story and hopefully continue getting uh, the help that we need to, to be successful in all these events and raise more scholarship money and, and have uh, more resources available for our retention program and so on. Uh, so in, instead of, I felt I needed to talk about this more than anything because we, we, do, we do, it's a challenge. Fundraising, development, all the committees are a challenge, but I gotta tell you, this is a challenge. <laughs> And so um, I, I hope that, uh, Gloria, thank you very much, and I hope others will, uh, will make that contact and, and we'll continue having our monthly meetings and, and knocking on doors and making those phone calls and continue being successful, be more successful than we are now. It's really the, the, the goal. Thank you.